Hello everybody, it's Dr. Rick dropping in on you. I hope everybody is having a close, a good close of the week. Uh, as you can see, it's overcast, uh, rainy here in the H. Uh, nevertheless, it's been a productive day. It has been a challenging week, but nevertheless, it's part of the process, right? Well, look, um, check this out. When I started this journey more than 30 years ago, I was wild-eyed, young, still wet behind the ears, and just like literally lit about being a catalyst of change in a world where my people was suffering in so many different ways and for the most part had no idea of how to come out of it. And, and it was tempered by the advice of some pretty powerful mentors that I had in my life that warned me to pace myself, warned me that sometimes the very people that I desired to help would be the greatest resistance I would meet, warned me that it would be difficult to get people who were so indoctrinated into the mechanisms and machinations of their suffering to change their behaviors and their way of thinking at a magnitude and level that would create the type of change that everybody said they wanted. See, saying you want something and being willing to do the things that are necessary to have it are two totally different things. And I deal with that, whether it's in the black community or whether it's at the Vision and X Institute where I'm helping people, uh, regardless of race, change their lives uh, as a part of my business model. It's the same thing. People want the promise and the prize, but they don't want the process. And, and I look at the complaints and it's complaint after complaint after complaint at uh, look at these Look at this generation, look at these kids, look at this, look at this. And the true nature of, of social development, social progression and social learning theory and all these different things that we've got tons and tons and tons and tons of empirical data to explain says that we played a role in what we're seeing now, even though we may not understand how. And you, you can't have 75% single parent household and not have a consequence for it. This isn't blaming any particular person, but the fact that the household does not have what it needs to be fully adequately equipped to inculcate the proper values, interests and principles into the mindsets and psyches of children because it is not balanced with feminine energy and masculine energy. There is simply going to be an imbalance in the development of children. And when there is hostility, when there are things that I've talked about, adverse childhood experiences in great depth, I have lectured on it, I do workshops, I, I, I have partnerships with uh, uh, municipal county organizations to help families in this area because adverse childhood experiences are so uh, devastating to the long-term health outcomes of individuals regardless of race and obviously uh, the lower you are on the socioeconomic ladder the more exposed you are to these ACEs and if you haven't uh, if you don't have an understanding of adverse childhood experiences, uh, search my channel or search the internet for an explanation on it. Adverse childhood experiences, epigenetic influences on disease, on trauma, on health outcomes. I've written on it. I've lectured on it. Um, I'm doing a major symposium uh, on the 27th of, 27th of January. 
uh, here in Houston, which will involve uh, a number of different institutions, the University of Houston, um, the Harris County Sheriff's Office, Wellspring uh, Family Institute, uh, and Greenlight Church are some of the major players in this. Uh, I am the presenter, uh, the lecturer, and keynote speaker, uh, but we're gonna have a round table discussion after, and we're gonna talk about a lot of these different things, but at the end of the day, these are the things we're dealing with, right? So I have for years talked about the importance of the presence and impact of us being unified and working together. And yet the most prevalent reality that I notice in, in observing my people with great intent of learning uh, what's going on is division. Those who benefit from our detriment, those who benefit from our lack of financial affluence and mobility, understand the power of division. They understand that we can never truly uh, achieve our full potential and force and power and impact in this world when we're divided, especially when we're divided down the lines of gender because the gender connectivity is where the balance comes from masculine energy uh, merging with feminine energy to create a synergy that creates a force and power that alone neither can do and when we take it out of the house it's prevalent when we take it out of the community it's prevalent and we are missing 